Turning over a new leaf, the power of changing for the better. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting and meaningful English phrase, to mend one's ways. Understanding this phrase not only helps you improve your English vocabulary but also offers a glimpse into the culture and values that shape the language. So, if you're ready to explore what it means to mend one's ways and how you can use this expression in everyday conversations, let's get started. To mend one's ways is a phrase that means to improve one's behavior or habits. It is often used when someone has recognized their mistakes or bad habits and decides to make a positive change in their life. The word, mend, here means to repair or fix, which is a metaphorical use, suggesting that one's ways or behaviors can be repaired or improved upon. The phrase has been in use for centuries, with its origins in the idea of mending clothes or repairing physical objects. Over time, it evolved to include the concept of improving one's character or actions. In modern English, it's used in both formal and informal contexts, though it might sound a bit more formal or literary. For example, a teacher might say to a student, if you mend your ways now and start studying harder, you'll see great improvements in your grades. Or, in a more personal context, someone might say, I realized I was hurting my health with my lifestyle, so I decided to mend my ways and live healthier. Understanding and using phrases like, to mend one's ways, can significantly enrich your English learning journey. It allows you to express complex ideas succinctly and connect with others on a deeper level. Moreover, it's a testament to the idea that people can change for the better, a universal theme that resonates across cultures and languages. When you want to use this phrase, remember, it's often used in the context of personal improvement or after acknowledging a mistake. It can be motivational, encouraging someone to change their behavior. Be mindful of the tone. It should be supportive or reflective, not accusatory. We hope this exploration of, to mend one's ways, has been enlightening and inspiring for you. Phrases like this enrich your English and offer windows into the values and beliefs of English-speaking cultures. Remember, language learning is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about understanding the deeper meanings behind the words we use. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you'll continue to explore and improve your English with us. See you in the next video.